so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so today's question is paths to reach origin and let us have a look at the problem so the problem says that you have been provided with x and y you have provided with x and y suppose your x is 5 and your y is 6 right okay now the question says that for given x and given y 5 and 6 construct a matrix right construct a matrix so you are standing at a point 5 comma 6 right this is a valid point right you are starting at a point 5 comma 6 and there is an origin at 0 comma 0 right at 0 comma 0 now you have to reach from here this is your start point this is your end point you have to reach up till here the only options allowed to you are either move this this side or move this side when you move this side that is above then your uh, row number will change that is it will become 4 comma 6 and when you will move left side your column number will change that is it will become 5 comma 5 right you cannot go minus up uh, like x and y cannot can never be become minus 1 etc right they all have always have to be greater than equals to 0 both x and y right the problem says that you have to reach from here to here and you have to tell me the total number of ways you can do it total number of ways so instead of taking a such a large example let us, let us try on a small example right suppose your x and y are given to be uh, 2 comma 2 right 2 comma 2 so if i construct a matrix it will be 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 right 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 so you are standing here right now right you are standing here and you have to reach here how many ways are possible okay so first way is 1 other way is 1 right another way is this one another way is this one another way is this one another way is um, okay there are many ways possible i'm actually confused how many how to draw all of them right so can we how can we instigate our answer how can we instigate our answer so whenever you have to find all the ways you have to find all the ways so this is the interviewer uh, way of asking you to use recursion interviewer ways of asking you to do recursion what will my recursion look like now what will my recursion look like right 2 comma 2 i'm standing at 2 comma 2 right what are the possible ways i can actually move upwards that is i can reduce the row number it will become 1 comma 2 or i can move towards uh, i can move towards left and decrease my column number that will become 2 comma 1 now for 1 comma 2 how many ways are possible 1 comma 2 can become 0 comma 2 or 1 comma 1 now 0 comma 2 only has one option why because if I, if I will decrease 0 part it will become minus 1 and that is not possible right so it can only convert to 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 1 can only convert to 0 comma 0 right so this is actually going to convert so this is one of my path right this is one of my path which I am circling right this this one another one 1 comma 1 can go to 1 comma 0 or 0 comma 1 right 1 comma 0 can go to 0 comma 0 only and 0 comma 1 can also go to 0 comma 0 only but you can see one 0 comma 1 occurred here 0 comma 1 again again occurred here right nevertheless i will just i am just marking out that 0 comma 1 has occurred two times up till now right for 2 comma 1 it can go to 1 comma 1 or 2 comma 0 1 comma 1 already occurred okay no, no, uh, so the recursion tree after 1 comma 1 will be same 0 comma 1 and 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 what about 2 comma 2 it will be 1 comma 0 which is already occurred 1 comma 0 will again go give 0 to 0 right 0 comma 0 that is all that is all guys that is all all the subcases have been mentioned so how many ways are there in total it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 but the answer is 6 but there are intermediate steps such as 1 comma 0 which has occurred here and here and here that is three times right so similarly 0 comma 1 has occurred here here and here right 1 comma 1 has occurred here and here right so there are many intermediate steps that have occurred many times right so what is this telling me this is telling me to use dp but still we will write the code for recursion first so my recursion will look something like suppose i make a function solve which accepts input x and y right now if x is equals to equal to 0 and y is equal to equal to 0 that is i have reached my origin i will say return 1 that is only uh, i have reached 1 so return 1 right okay 
otherwise if i'm going left uh, when i can go left i can go left that is i can go this side only if my column permits me my column permits me that is i'm not standing i'm not standing at this point i can go left only if i'm not standing at this point i should be actually in this column or in this column that is my column number should be greater than zero right so i will say if column is greater than zero my left is equals to solve for x and y minus one and similarly for row if my row is greater than zero my right is equals to solve for x minus one and y now my column is here y my row is here my x right okay similar now after this both steps after these steps i will say return now how many ways are there i can actually go towards left i can actually go towards right now this is one way this is second way and what is my answer it will be one plus one that is two so it will be left plus right left plus right this will return me a proper answer now the recursion subtree would look something like this now whenever there are existing sub problems which are actually coinciding that is the sub problems are repeating you can see sub, sub problems are repeating repeating sub problems in that case we memoize this code to get a valid dp so i can see that the parameters that are changing are x and y so i will make a dp array of x and y that is i will make vector of vector int dp of size x plus 1 and vector int y plus 1 and initialize all of them by minus 1 right okay now dp is minus 1 i will send it to here i will send it here in dp and i will say here that if dp of x y is not equals to minus 1 i will return dp of x y i will return dp of x y and similarly after before updating my answer i will say dp of x y equals to left plus right equals to left plus right this is the whole code today right this is the whole code today the question is really easy given that you should know about recursion you should know about dp but i think i've actually explained pretty well like all the things are drawn out for you but still any doubt you know where to contact me over on my social handles or on my comment section i am happy to help you out okay so let us move toward the code now so guys let's start towards the code but before starting it i would request you to join me on my instagram and join me on my linkedin and please 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 if you are new here do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button right okay in the driver function i will just say return solve for x and y i will let all the things be done by solve right okay so now solve is actually turning an int value int solve int x int y now first case that is the base case if x is equals to equals to 0 and y is equals to equals to 0 i will say return 1 right now if i will return i will take two values int left and which will be initialized as zeros and up as 0 right if my y is greater than 0 only then i can go left so left will become solve for x my oh, x comma y minus 1 and similarly if x is greater than 0 i will say right up is equal to solve for x minus 1 comma y and i will just say return left plus up this is my only recursion i will have to use you can see that it is running fine or not and then we will inculcate dp into it you can see it is running fine let us try to inculcate dp into it so vector of vector int dp of size x plus 1 and vector point y plus 1 initialized by minus 1s right and now sending in dp here and sending in let me be dp here by reference so vector of vector int and dp right now if dp of x y is not equals to minus 1 in that case return dp of xy that is the value has already been occurred once and here also change the parameters it will be dp here and it will be dp here and before sending the value returning the value update your dp array so dp of x y 
becomes left plus up right let us try to submit it and there will be a small problem right okay so hang up with me so let us see what is the problem so you can see we are actually getting a garbage value this indicates that the value is getting overflowed so i will use a mod i will take a mod as int mode is equals to 1 e 9 plus 7 that is a uh, particular mode we use all, always all the time right and i will just take the mode every time i calculate a value so mode percentile mode percentile mode and th this in this will be put in brackets and percentile mode right let us try to run it now it is running fine for the te sample test case and let us try it for the submit button also and it is running fine as you can see so hope you liked the video and in case you didn't understand any point please feel free contact feel free to contact me in the comment section and please 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 if you're new here do not forget to subscribe do not forget to hit the like button and follow me on my social media social media handles right okay we'll meet tomorrow with a new question till then have a nice day